inositol particularly myoinositol and dikaioinositol has been studied for its potential benefits in improving the outcomes of women suffering from PCOS that is polycystic ovarian syndrome and PCOD that is polycystic ovarian disease but to understand how we need to dive deep into the mechanism of action of inositol inositol is a part of insulin signaling pathway it helps improve insulin sensitivity which is often impaired in women with PCOS thus it can help reduce hyperinsulinemia a common feature that is present in PCOS Improved insulin sensitivity can also promote regular ovulation. Inositol also helps reduce male hormones that is typically elevated in case of PCOS. These androgens are the culprits that cause acne, hirsutism, and irregular menstrual cycles in women. There's a ton of research findings that absolutely support these benefits. Citing European Review in Medical and Pharmacological Sciences suggests that a combination of myoinositol and dikaioinositol in a specific ratio of 40 to 1 helps to reduce the symptoms of PCOS like irregular menstrual cycles insulin sensitivity and promotes hormonal balance. Research published in the archives of gynecology and obstetrics has shown that supplementation of myoinositol has improved the quality of oocytes and embryos in women undergoing in vitro fertilization and hence improving the rates of pregnancy. A study in fertility and sterility has demonstrated that myoinositol can reduce the symptoms of PCOS such as insulin sensitivity and the elevated androgen levels. The key contributors for PCOS. So my inositol and dikaioinositol are definitely a game changer when it comes for treating PCOS and PCOD. Fat chicks are often thick due to PCOS and hypothyroidism. Hope this message sinks in and until then, peace out. So please whatever. Please I want to reach 1 million likes. So please Okay, thank you.